Hello, I hope you're having a great day again. Thank you for watching my video here again. Um, this is Lightworker Laura and this is my daily angel message for empaths and highly sensitive people. So take what resonates with you uh, in this reading. This might not always be for everyone who are watching, but um, may these readings guide you and bring you peace of mind and clarity that you're looking for right now. And of course, don't forget to book your own reading with me if you want your own private messaging with me, with your guardian angels or archangels or your guides, because that is what I'm here for. Okay, so the first card today is spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. So this card is meaning, <laughs> as you can see here, with this joyful angel here with the money in her hands, the coins here. Uh, money is coming your way. And whatever you are doing right now, your projects are working out and uh, your business is working out. If you have a business or you're having job success um whatever it is that you're doing for work right now it, it is going to flourish and god and the angels are taking care of your financial worries so you don't have to worry about those i feel like <clears throat> a lot of you have been praying for abundance to come to your life and you have been working on it and now I just want you to know that you can let go of all those worries regarding money just fully follow your guidance your your life purpose and you will have everything that you need so this message is specifically for those um, who have recently found their life purpose and who are working on it right now and if you have just started a business, uh, like I said, it's it's going to flourish soon. So you are really doing the the right things to um, to follow your life calling and to really just honoring your soul purpose. And that that is that is the main thing that brings abundance. I feel like you have been worrying about money for a long time, but now is the time that you can just fully let go of those worries completely. And then we have second card that is honor your beauty. Archangel Shofiel appears with this message. Thank you, Shofiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. So with this, I feel like this is mostly for women, but might be for if you, if you are a man, then it's okay. This card is meaning that you've been having insecurities about your appearance. Um, maybe somebody put you down and you've been feeling a bit ugly lately, or maybe you haven't taken care of yourself enough and you've been going through some struggling. Well, I can imagine that, especially now that the coronavirus was going on, um, that if you haven't been able to fully be in your strength and if you haven't been taking care of yourself enough. So this card resonates with those. And Chofiel is here to support you now with your <laughs> your looks, your appearance, your confidence. Um, she wants you to really feel beautiful because you are and the angels see how perfect you are and God sees how perfect you are. You are a beautiful being. So just please see that for yourself and get rid of that low self-confidence because it's not serving you. Just be confidently and fully yourself and maybe take care of yourself more if you haven't done that in a while 
exercise is very important to do basically every day and of course healthy eating and sleeping as well they they all can make us beautiful and they are all about healthy normal habits healthy lifestyle so the angels are really just wanting to remind you to you know take care of yourself but if you if you are having those insecurities just call on archangel shofiel because she is a powerful angel um, who will help you with these struggles and you can use this prayer for invoking her you can say thank you Chofiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty and you are somebody who is who's also beautiful inside so you really <laughs> you really shouldn't worry about how you look to others because you definitely are beautiful inside and out and then we have a third card, Unconditional Love, the Divine Mother. So this is Divine Mother Mary. And you can invoke her by saying, Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. Uh, so with this message, as she's appearing right now, um, you have been struggling with giving or receiving love lately maybe you are not opening your heart fully maybe you're having trouble trusting if you have just met someone new and you want to trust them but you feel like you can't like it's impossible because you have been having bad experiences before and your heart is closed so divine mother mary just wants you to know that you are loved and you are capable of loving all you need to do is just open your heart and she will help you if you call on her she will help you open your heart and allow love to come into your life she will help you to give and receive all of the love that is in store for you from the universe and also she wants you to know that we are never too old for motherly nurturing so even if <laughs> you are an adult person like i assume you are um she's just here to tell you that you definitely definitely do deserve some nurturing anyhow it's not about the age and even if your own mother isn't alive anymore um they are with you, of course, every second of the day, watching over you. And you do deserve all of the love and all of the care. But you can call on Divine Mother Mary if you feel like you need some extra nurturing, um, loving presence. And then we have Peace and Harmony, Archangel Ragel. And you can invoke Ragel by saying, thank you, Ragel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. So with this message, it is clear that you have been struggling with some issue or issues. And they are being solved soon, but it's, it's just taking a little time. Uh, Ragel's name means friend of God. And he's the angel of harmony. So he's really bringing in peace and harmony. So if you feel like you need some extra support with peace and harmony, just call on him. Um, he will help you create, for example, harmonious bonds in your relationships. If you're having some arguments, conflicts with some people. A lot of the Archangels have very similar tasks, um, but of course it doesn't matter who you call on. Um, the right Archangel will always come to you when you just talk to angels. They always listen, so they will always come. But <clears throat> if you feel like calling on a specific, specific Archangel 
that is what these prayers are for and that is why it's good to know their names so that it's a lot easier than if you want to work with them fast, you know. And the angels are asking you to stand down from any conflicts that are going on in your life right now. So just try to be the peaceful person and not argue with anyone. Just take a step back and allow the angels in so that they can help restore the peace into your life. But I feel like a lot of peace and harmony is coming to your life very soon. So I hope that this reading served you again and thank you so much again for being here watching my vi videos, following my work and don't forget that I'm here if you need me, if you need a reading or a spiritual couching, if you want to transform your life for the better, if you've been through hard times, I'm here for you and I will listen to you confidentially. And I will coach you towards your better life to manifest your dreams. So have a wonderful rest of the Friday and namaste.